I um at 7 40 in the morning I just finished dropping the kids off at school and I'm at Walmart uh, because I need to get my um my scrubs from here and then I get to get Sam's and some dog food and such so yeah since I'm on this side of town I was like I might as well just hurry up and stop um to Walmart to get what I need I already marked myself a present for school online so and I already started on my work while waiting for Grayson to get out of the car for school so <clears throat> I'm actually almost finished I think I have one more assignment to do um but that's not until I get back home because it's like a a, a hands-on activity that I need to do so yeah all right let me go ahead and run in here so I can hurry up and make it back home finish what I need to do I'm in my pajamas lord ratchet as ever I stayed in there longer than what I wanted to it is now 809 <clears throat> um so um I got the scrub for my like the top scrubs but the bottoms didn't have a, the size that I wanted Normally I wear mediums, but mediums in the drawstring scrub that they have there looks so huge, huge. So I just got a medium in the scrub top because I don't like my tops to be so, so fitted. Um, but I like my bottoms to be fitted just a little bit. And man, The, the the bottoms are huge and then I was gonna stop to Starbucks and get me a caramel frappuccino or caramel macchiato and I just got that so I'm like I don't feel like doing all them stop so but later on after I finish my assignments I am gonna go to Walmart um, I'm gonna go to the Walmart that's uh, by my house to see if they have my scrubs. I need this for tomorrow. So, <clears throat> definitely need to see if they have it. So, now I'm on my way home. Oh, I also got some camis because I realized I don't really have like undershirts because I don't just like wearing scrubs with nothing underneath. Um, so, um, I got me three camis a white, a black, and a gray one. And then I got ankle socks instead of no, no show socks. Um, some black ones and I may go back and get some white ones but I'm not a white sock type person but I am gonna go back and get some white socks some white ankle socks so I just got the necessity for right now besides the pants that's missing um, and even the scrub tops looked huge so initially they have two different types of scrubs one of them looks like it was more of like a looser fit if I'm saying that correctly and the other one was more so it had like a curve in the scrub to where it like curved to your body so that's the one I got the one that was a looser fit the mediums look so huge but I got a medium in the um I think I got a medium in the other one the other style so even though I don't want to later on after I finish my assignment I am gonna go to Walmart and get what I need to get so I can go ahead and um, be finished with that for the bot like get the bottoms or whatever so yeah I do have until tonight mind you until 11 59 tonight to finish my assignment so I could just go ahead and go to the other Walmart that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the other Walmart right now since I'm out because I'm I know that I'm not gonna want to get out again um later on so yeah might as well go ahead and and do it so yeah let me just hurry up and make my way there and I'll hit y'all whenever either while I'm at that Walmart or when I make it home
Good morning. How are you? Good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Just you so far, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You said you're coming to labs on Tuesday, Thursday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I found my, the tops of my squirrel, but it seems like my size and the bottoms, I cannot find. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> I had the same problem. That's really? Why I went to the squirrel, that's why I ended up going to Scrub Works, just because my, uh, I had to order. They were really helpful. They helped me order. Uh, I had to order a different size top and bottom. Okay. I'm going to have to go. I had to go, go through there. like seven different sizes to get something that fit my legs. Yeah. I'm going to have to go over there then. They're real nice with everything and they helped me uh, get what I needed. Well, good. So to answer the questions, um, since we're waiting, um, like the three principles of palpation, you want us to answer it in the comment? Is that what you want us to do? No, not in the comment. In the, uh, if you click on it, it'll ask you to either type it there or it'll ask you for a Word document or okay. you, can, uh, you can write it on a piece of paper, take a snapshot of it and upload it. Okay, and that's the same thing for the Inblex question too, right? The Inblex question you can put in the comment. Okay, okay. But the ones that say assignment, you want to put, you want to click on it and go inside of it. Okay, gotcha. It doesn't say assignment on it, you can do everything in the comment. So okay. like me right here, anything that doesn't say assignment, you can do it in there. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I'm almost finished with all my work, so... It may just be you today. Uh oh. You and Keisha that's already here. <laughs> I like the string, um, the tactile sensitivity one. Um, when doing so, with, when placing the string in the book, you want us to feel the page, to feel the string. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. It works. It actually works better. You can get a notebook too, but okay. it works better when you get somebody else to place a string in a weird direction, like off. Or something where it's not in a certain spot gotcha and so that you can you can, we can try to feel it and then have them move it and then flip a couple flip a page mm -hmm. see if you can feel it and it works a lot better too if it's something like dental floss or uh, a thread oh okay because like you put a uh, like a cord from your you know like, mm -hmm. a, uh, like your earphones or something mm -hmm. and you can feel it's a lot thicker gauge, so it's a lot easier to find through, you know, sometimes they go through 100 pages on something that thick. Okay. But then something thinner like dental floss or, you okay. know, thread, something that's thin will make it more, make it work more tactile with it. Okay. All right, guys. So clearly I'm back home. Um, I just finished the Zoom meeting with my instructor. Um, so I went to the other Walmart to freaking get the um, bottom scrub and they had them but not my size at all so I'm assuming that I, I should have got a medium being that it was the drawstring scrubs the way it looked without it being tightened it looked huge so I'm thinking I should get the medium um, and it's only like $12.96 like whatever so I'm thinking about getting the medium and then just tighten it up or whatever. Um, so I may go back to Walmart later on. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. <clears throat> he said I don't need the scrubs. I have two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. I have two weeks to get my scrubs. Um, so he was saying I don't necessarily have it for tomorrow. I don't need to have it for tomorrow for labs. So... I could wait till next week or this weekend or whatever. So I finished the Inblex question for, of the day, which is why I, I love that he has that because it helps prepare. <coughs> it helps prepare to take the Inblex. <clears throat> so I finished one of the assignments. So I'm gonna take a picture of it and upload it.
Anjir. So once I finish uploading this assignment, I have to do the first page of the workbook um, <clears throat> and then one more activity and then I'll be done for today. All right, so I finished all of my assignments for today. Not so bad. Um, I do have labs tomorrow. Which I'm kind of nervous for. Because we're actually going to be palpating on each other. Um, yeah. And I need to remove my nails. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. Just to hurry up and be finished with that. Um, because we're not allowed to have acrylics. Um, well, we could. But it has to be so super 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 short and i'm like i might as well just take it all off instead of like filing filing it all the way down i mean i could file it all the way down i'm gonna try that first before i go ahead and remove it so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna watch some youtube videos take sense and out to use the restroom feed them before i go get the girls and yeah so I'll get back at y'all a little later. All right, y'all. So while I have all of my assignments done, I do have an order I need to fulfill. I am working on um, uh, wedding favors. So it's going to be um, 100 bars of soaps, some little mini bars. And I prepped everything. I'm waiting for my oils, my hard oils and butter to melt. Once that's done, um, then I'm gonna get started. So the colors are navy blue and rose gold. So this is the rose gold colorant. And then I have the navy blue color in there with some activated charcoal to make it darker. Um, let me show y'all. So this is my lye solution right here. So it has water, apple cider vinegar, and tessa silk, as well as my sodium dioxide, I'm sorry, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide makes soap. It turns oils into soap. So in order to make soap, you have to have that ingredients. For those of you who are out there talking about, oh, I don't like chemicals in my soap, or I don't like sodium hydroxide, that's what you need to make soap. So yeah, and then I have Tessa Silk in there, which creates a nice velvety texture and smooth and silkiness in the bar of soap. So these are my liquid oils right here, which consist of castor oil, olive oil, canola oil, then in here I have my butters and my hard oil, so coconut oil, vegetable shortening, tallow, and shea butter is in here. And then I'm gonna show you the molds that it's going in. So these are all of the molds right here that it's going in. 100 bars, and I got these molds off of Amazon.